All right, hello, and welcome back to Phantom Trick Ghost Detective. I don't remember where we were. I haven't played this since, according to the save data, December 16th. You have no idea what day it is when I'm recording this, but, you know, eh, it should still be quite a while ago. Basically, I went on holiday and therefore couldn't play games and forgot to take my hard drive with me so I couldn't upload any games. Oops. Well, anyways. Christ, I have to remember all the voices now. Uh, ten years ago, a man named Cecil. Ah, uh, this is probably Jowd. Uh, right, yeah, killed by a meteorite fragment. I had forgotten about the world's most convenient death. Tonight, a man named Cecil. Uh, if it's Jowd, I need to get back into the voice. Bear with me a second. <clears throat> Tonight, a man named Cecil met a detective named. Er is this him? Met a detective named Limited Junkyard in the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. Well, quite. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line... Ah, I guess this is Cecil. It was like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Um... Well, this... doesn't... seem... right? I see myself. Okay... Well, boy, I picked a hell of a place to come back to, didn't I? Ah, this guy! There you are, Commander Sith. Finally. Jason, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we've fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside of our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Cecil. Well, this is... this is most curious. Anyone who knows this game was probably a little annoyed that I left off there and then left for like three weeks. Dawn is approaching. Well, it's, it's not going to be a three week break for them. There's that broke in a different spot, but whatever. Darkness is surrounding my own mystery. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. I don't think that's true, actually. Hmm, yes. We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Lights have been spotted, what? Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Whack! I remember that. I miss these guys. This is a good, good bit to come back to. <laughs> God, he's short. Hmm, yes, we're very close. <laughs> By the way, could you stand a little to your left? I'm kind of looking right at your massive chest. We will disconnect from the communication. Okay, <clears throat> We will disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. What, are they in a mobile fort? That would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> um. Ah! Well. Submarine, mobile fort, eh, tomato, tomato, wait a minute, oh, that was bed. I saw the bedroom and I thought it was, uh, what's your name's apartment, the, uh, wife of the minister. Nice try, Inspector Cabanella, but you could never stop me. Who the hell are you? Well, I, you're Cecil, but you know what I mean. See ya, sucker. Well, shit, better bring this guy back to life. Yeah, let's let's think about this for a second. I'm a little confused. That submarine guy and his people have a deal going with me. You know, buddy, I think it's safe to assume, as we saw earlier, um, Lynn. Well, no, damn, this doesn't make any sense. Because we saw earlier that when we brought Lynn back to life, she was Cabanella for a second, but then she was Lynn, so a ghost isn't... Hmm... I, there's a train of thought here. So, you'll, you'll forgive me if I'm... 
holding up the episode right now, but Lynn didn't turn into Lynn originally. I remember that. She turned into Cabanella, and then we were like, no, no, you're that person. And then she turned into Lynn. So my original thought was, but I died. We clearly saw me die. So that has to have been me. But what if I didn't die there? Because if I was just a spirit that showed up and saw him, I would have been like, oh, this must be me. And there was no one around to correct me except Ray, who God knows where he is. So if I was another spirit and happened to see him... Ah, uh, but... It doesn't make sense how our spirit got there, but it's possible that's where they're going with this. That submarine guy and his people have... Yeah, I read that already. If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Anyways, there's definitely something behind... Gee, do you think? I think I better talk to him. Whoops. That's my bad. Better talk to him. But first I'm gonna run over to Chicken Kitchen, get myself a bite to eat. <coughs> well, here's the spirit. Uh, do you think you could wake up for me? No dice, huh? Guess he hasn't been dead very long. Just... Ah, hmm. Yeah... Well, no Cabanella yet, which is good. Nothing's been too hard on my voice. The first two voices I really had to do... Uh... Cecil's just me, but... Uh... Ah, well. Of course Cabanella's gonna talk here. <sighs> I was gonna say, the, the first two voices weren't that difficult. They're pretty easy. Now then. <clears throat> mm. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. Gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Really? He is? <laughs> Ah, what's the matter? I, I could make him distinct from Cecil. He he does seem to be a bit more gangster. All those broken bones smart a bit? Meh, what's that feel like? Does it make you feel alive? Why? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Meh, it's obvious. Meh. Revenge, of course. Meh. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Meh. Oh, it's a spirit potentially inhabiting my body. I see. Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life. Or have you forgotten that? Oh, that's a good point. Ow. I was mad at me by all of you. Meh. Look, even if you can't feel pain, maybe have some self-preservation for your hand. Like, you may need that later. Now it's all burned and shit. Detective Jown, who chased me down the f and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Meh. Lynn, the girl who was right there when I was running. Meh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Cabanella on this one. Lynn, she was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I would never have thought of taking a hostage. Meh. That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. I like you, Jowd. Or Jowd. I like you, Cabanella. I, I I seem to recall being like, ooh, I don't know, he's the bad guy, but uh, seems like my first instinct was right about Cabanella. Which I think actually might have been assuming he was the bad guy. So maybe my second instinct was right. I know at some point I really liked him and thought uh, he genuinely doesn't want to arrest his friend here. And finally you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Meh. What did I do? What did he do? He was so proud of your spotless record. Meh. And my case was one blot in it, wasn't it? Meh. Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Joe. Meh. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? Meh. One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. Meh. That's why he didn't help him escape from prison. Meh. I th think he's just loyal to the bone and thought, you know, this is what needs to be done. 
That's the kind of guy you are. I'd like to think that's not true. I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyways. Oh. Damn. Could have done that a little sooner, maybe? Ye gods! Now then, Inspector. Meh. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. Meh. <laughs> He's ghost tricking! That was not a condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Tempsick. Meh. Bang. Revenge? That's what I'm up to. None of this makes any sense. Hey, man. Oh. Man, tell me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella, he's awake. My head's spinning, baby. Am I to understand that Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, yes. <laughs> and you're supposed to be the scoundrel who, had, but who just shot me. Uh, sort of? But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? Huh, guess I have to face it. I'm not that Cecil guy. Well, quite. I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. Or at the very least, you have information about the guy in the red. Information I need. Yeah, so you came in a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here, somewhere, a life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. Hmm. <clears throat> kind of losing the voice. Him at length is rough to do. It's rough on the pipes. <clears throat> what, I can listen to him? That's a good boy. Gee, and house insurance a handy thing. Gets me... <laughs> Isn't he already dead? Oh. Alright, what are we thinking? So you're a manipulator, too. Ah. He knows about this. I think we explained it, though. I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead, yeah, but uh, I can't control living creatures. Any hoots, I think you better be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> things might get a little sticky. You're right, I'd better be careful. I can't really do the high notes. Huh, this is interesting. Look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having a special power like the dead? Okay, so I was trying to get a look around. So I need to somehow do this without letting him know I'm here. This is going to be interesting. This is a new mechanic. Well, let's hop over to the phone. Swivel. I can swivel the desk lamp. Can I do anything there? I can turn that on. Huh, I can probably close the spout lid. I can rock the helmet. Examine the book. Sure, let's examine the book. Why not? Top of this bookshelf is lined with books. This one is balanced so precariously, it's a wonder it doesn't fall off. Hint, perhaps? How did the old pigeon guy even reach up here? I wonder if he makes pigeon fetch it for him. Eh, good point. So what happens if I rock the hat? Huh. Neat. <laughs> yeah, he's checking it out. What's going on? Never seen this the ghost world like this. So you're here, are you? He sensed my presence. Well, shit. I noticed you! Oh, he's looking right at the camera. You think you can stop me, do ya? I don't know why you're wearing my face, but you might as well give up. I control everything. Damn it! Car! Everything, including the life of the police inspector in white! Meh! I forgot his little, uh, tick. Well, shit. This ended poorly. Wait! Don't shoot! Well, that didn't work. No one ever listens to wait, don't shoot. Yeah, I get that time's up. Southern me knows the powers of the dead as well. 
Who wouldn't notice what you just did? You were practically shouting, look at me, baby! I just knocked a helmet over. Damn, son. Looks like it might be hard to save you under these... Yeah, no kidding. It's a bear... Yeah, I guess so. Jeez. Okay, so... Let me think. I either need to manipulate shit he isn't looking at, which, by the way, he's looking at quite a bit, unless I can... Unless I can, uh, I can't get down there. Hmm. So... I could probably close the lid, because that's innocuous. I might test that. The lid's innocuous enough that I may be able to close it. Um... But I'm gonna need to wait until he's shot and, like, on the other side of the room, if I want to get at him. Yeah, okay, so closing the lid worked. That was... that's innocuous enough that it doesn't matter. I can't swivel the lamp. I may be able to turn that on, but I don't really see what that would do for me. I can try it. Nah, that gave it away. Fuck, I couldn't... Yeah, alright, never seen it, blah de blah yeah, whatever, I'm here. I think just from the beginning, yeah. Alright, so I'll close the lid since that's really all I can do at this point. Whoops. I also like how the body disappears in a puff of smoke like that. I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, just shut that. Okay. So he says something. What's the matter, man? All those broken bones smart a bit, man. What if, is that what it's like to feel pain, man? Does it make you feel alive, man? Why are you doing this, man? Now it's not the time for that. Oh, whatever. Oh, I forgot. Do we have to... Okay, I was going to say, fair enough to... So I can go down here. Yeah, okay. That doesn't... Oh yeah, wait a minute, Ugh, this place is trashed. I didn't even see that. Look at this place. This is trashed all the- Oh, am I gonna go back in time for the professor? What in the world happened here? I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad. No kidding. There's another death ring hidden here. Ah, so I can go back in time again. Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was very important life, valuable to the nation? Thought you were talking about you. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. And how? Aw, pigeon. Well, I think I figured out where he is. Come to think of it, where's that old pigeon guy? I wonder, is he right there? Uh. Bonk. Oh yeah, there he is. I can open the toolbox. Eh. Measuring device. Wait, measuring device, measuring device. Uh, maybe they're connected, who knows? We. <laughs> yeah, let's open the door, why don't we? Ow. I was sort of hoping, uh... Was sort of hoping, what the hell is that? There's a wheel down there? And a rat? Oh, for God's sakes. Fine. Ugh. I was just exploring, jeez. Excuse me! Oh god, this guy's voice. Are you awake? Maybe I'll get lucky. Damn it. Woo! Woo Professor, do you recognize me? Woo he hasn't lost his memory. Are you talking about me? 
Oh no, this is a different guy, and I'm his guest actually, said he came here to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend hasn't gotten his memory back. Oh, unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. <laughs> wow, thanks, dick. Anyways, now that we're going to be... <laughs> That's right, there's no thoughts, they're private here. Anyways, now we'll be going back to four minutes before you death, in order to change your fate, that is. Not we already in the past, man! We can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cavanelle, but if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. E. So I'm guessing it wasn't possible, no matter if we uh, dicked around while I shot him in the chest and uh, knocked him across the floor. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. <laughs> Pigeon noise. Pigeon, pigeon noise, pigeon. He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the Mooplater isn't something you can detect. It's a spirit. Pigeon noise. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yawning. <clears throat> so you figured it all out, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Now come on, man, respect the cabinet. Oh, meh. Well, so it's really true, yeah. I'm wasting a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. Meh. But it's all just like you said, man. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel, a shell, man. I control everything. This shell, people. Like I controlled the Justice Minister, Lynn, man. <laughs> this would be the time to shoot him, buddy. So it's true, you were manipulating my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence, you know, only on that security tape, man. Now she's a murderer too, man. She'll suffer just like John did, man. All right, so Lynn sort of killed us. It's just he controlled her to do it. Now then, Professor, man, I'm afraid it's time for you to die, man. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. I mean, man, I'm even grateful to you. Pigeon, pigeon noise, pigeon noise. I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, man. But before I do. I need to erase all the evidence that the, these powers of mine exist. Meh. Along with that contraption in this room. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll be all over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Ah, piss. Professor, look out! Well, couldn't save him. <laughs> Pigeon noise, I don't care. He planned it all tonight, having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared? The hell? Oh, yeah, he's a German doctor. That medical examiner, remember him? He was completely another imposter. Ah, so I might not be dead after all. He said nothing was going to take the corpse back to the lab, but he allowed me to do with the midpier and beat him here and give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. Pigeon noise, pigeon noise, I am a pigeon man. I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and brought him off. Bottom off. I had him smuggle the corpse into this room. Could have just arrested him, eh? I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think the powers were of the dead. Pigeons. I like pigeons. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Remember what Ray said tonight? He said the spirit ceased to exist when day breaks, but if that's true, 
How could a spirit from ten years ago still be here? No time for thinking now, baby! Action is the name of the game! You work at a mansion can take us back even further into the past. What? Oh, alright. This further. This is also the end of the episode. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, throw some pause on it right now. Thank you. I guess I could open the door? That would cause him to drop. Oh no, that, that door opens up, not down. Uh. Uh, well then. Uh, but yes, thanks so much for watching. I'm a token lad. I will talk to you later. Shoot me your shares and see you around, Ask Clowns.